Dark never does aggressive strategies. He's on hards. He's going hard soft. So he's... Oh. That's interesting. So we're pretty much doing the same thing, but reverse. I'm starting on the softs and going hards. He's starting on the hearts and going soft. Oh, great stuff. Paris? This, bro, I don't even know what's gonna happen in this race, but this was hella fun. <laughs> what's up, guys? Welcome to the co-op again. We've been grinding lately. Today is round number seven. Today is round number seven. Last three races, we've been having a lot of bad luck, okay? A lot of bad luck. But today, everything is gonna change. Dirk, since I had some issues to get home, Dirk already did a full 50% race in Imola. You know, we're still gonna do everything, uh, as in practice programs. But yeah, as you guys see the standings, 89 points and Dirk has 85. I had a huge lead and now it's only four points. Four freaking points. Let's see the goal available. Complete two sessions without damaging your car. Complete the weekend with no more than four collisions with the other cars. Yeah, we're not going to touch anybody. Finishing in a better position than your teammate in the race. That's going to happen 100%. Complete 10 laps during the race weekend. That's going to happen as well. Yes, I'm rushing everything. Practice program. Is, it's got to be perfect. Okay, that's going to be it. Do I have some money for my R&D? I do. 500. Is that going to be enough for something? Probably not. Yeah, I'm broke. And yeah, let's advance. Boom. Hey man, my apologies. My apologies for being one hour late, yeah? Don't kill me, please. Well, apologize to me, man. Apologize <laughs> to, the, to the fanboys and girls. Nah, I yeah, couldn't, I bro. Know. I had a lot of issues to get home. A lot, a lot of issues. Trust me. Just down the road Ooh, from Ferrari HQ. Where quality. You know, a thing or two about Interesting. Formula One MSC. I, don't, I can't even say the whole thing. It came off so fast. I can probably say it, but I already skipped. So it's, it's going to start raining more. And then it's gonna rain less again. What is this? What about the race? Is the race gonna be wet as well? It kinda. The race is kinda wet. It's gonna pro. Let yeah. Go. What should I do with my setup, boys? Should I run a wet setup? Okay. We have the wet setup on. I think this is the first time I'm gonna actually try a wet setup. So if we if we have a bad race, I'm gonna blame the setup. Let's go. First lap, baby. The wet is where the real drivers show their skill. So let me show mine. Oh lord. Oh, I was not out. VAR. Give me the VAR. I was not out. I was not out. Whatever, we have a delta at least. I'm gonna go faster the next lap anyway. We are already gaining. Told ya. Purple sector, give it to me. Look at the delta, man. Things you love to see. Oh, lost a little bit of the, my back end. And this lap is gonna be. Paris is faster. Oh my god. Oh my god. We pretty much did the same lap. Okay, let's charge the battery and do another one. Okay, two tenths gained. Apex missed, seven tenths up. What is going on? How is this possible? That lap was atrocious. Good lap, you cannot say that was a good lap. That was a horrible lap. <laughs> that was horrible. But hey, it, I guess it's the, this is the way. This is the way, just send it. Miss the Apex, but send it. Just carry a lot of minimum speed, but send it. I mean, you're. I don't know what happened. Oh my god! Hey, yo, hey, bro, yo, 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 you good, bro? You, you're gonna damage your floor like that, bro. Watch out! God damn, bro! Try to stay within the way. Oh my god, the back end, Dirk, please oh, behave. You talk so much. What, what's wrong with you? <laughs> hey, man, what's going on? I'm just trying something different. Seems like you're struggling there. Is he gonna beat me? Is he gonna beat me? Same times. It's drying up. Is it fully dry or is it drying up? I'm gonna go out in the same set of inters. 
That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, Hamilton is on Inters, so I'm gonna do the same. But I'm gonna use the uh, use set just to see how the track is. This is dry, isn't it? This is completely dry. There is still spray, though. If you guys look at my tires, there is still spray when it's not in the racing line. Look. So it's it's not dry. They need to fix this, man. Look, I'm gonna go out of the racing line and there is spray. What? I wasn't... I was... inside. How is that a cut? I'm sorry, but how is that a cut? Do lap on Inter and then try... Yeah, I will still do another lap. Ooh, science is coming. I don't want to block him. Here we go. Come on. Have this, though. Maybe the toe actually works. Because he's pulled. And this is gonna be Shirley Spoke. There you go, boys. A 199. I think Sainz did a 20. So the times are not really much better than the AI. But I'm gonna pit and we'll see if we're gonna go into new inters or slicks. Where where's why is Dirk still so Dirk, I mean, I was about to say, so Dirk has no information, but he's out. Plus he probably saw me doing a lap. The the question is, is he on new inters? If the AI goes enters, then that's an indication that it's drying up. But until the AI is not an inter on, on softs, I mean, then I'm not going to do it. But I'm going to select the soft tires and I'm going to change. I just licked my wings. Very nice. I mean, it's not SRC. Um, and we're going to wait. Okay, uh, there's a Haskell going out. He has enters on. I don't need to do another lap. I'll just retire. Even if Dirk goes on softs, I'm through already. Okay, Dirk is on slicks. And that's about it. Nobody's going out. Is this normal? I've never seen this before. The AI is not doing a lap. I can retire. Damn. AI is evolving. Are they though? Wait. He, he, he just went purple. Magnuson went purple. I, I haven't done my driver career mode in like a week. He's spinning! What am I seeing? He was gonna be through. Why did he pit? Why did he pit? Why didn't he finish the lap? Oh my god. But let's see. If he's doing like a 14, 15, then it's dry. If it's 16, 17, 18, then it's even 19, then it's probably still a bit damped, I would say. Nah, his backhand didn't step out there. It didn't step out here either. I think it's dry. And he's gonna do. What did he do? So, Ben, do you still think it's dry? <laughs> so, how did it go? Is it dry? Uh, not really. It was sliding yeah. and a bit air, but it was still faster than Inters, I think. Well, well, well. It, it's a bit weird in this game because it looks dry, but then it's not. It's, it's, it's weird. Oh my god. Boys. I will, I'm not used to this. It's dry. I'm not used to it. I'm so sorry. But I bottled. This is not a good lap. Driving in a dry after it was wet. It's weird. Oh, it was not even a hot lap. True. Okay, we bottled. Let's see where this is gonna put us. That was not a good lap, I knew it. Ah, uh, we bottled. We bottled. Hard. We'll be fine, we'll be fine.
Let's see where Dark is gonna put it. Oh, where is he? Let's see where he's gonna be. So we are sixth. I don't think he's ahead of us, because if he went ahead of us, we should have been seventh. I could be wrong. Seems like we both had stinkers, huh? <laughs> oh my god. You know what he was? Because we came from the wet and he felt weird because it was dry. He has to be that. 100%. Uh, I boiled hard. I was fast to see like sector one. Sector two, I mean. It's, we were sector used two. to the wet, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Well, today's venue has a full name that is perhaps lesser known than its informal one. So today we're at Imola, or to give it its official title, the Autodromo Internazionale Enzo e Dino Ferrari, named after their legacy. A beautiful tribute and a beautiful circuit. It's time, everyone, for the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. One lap of Imola, anti-clockwise of course, unlike most Formula One circuits, will take our drivers round 3.1 miles of track. 19 turns, 9 right-handers and 10 to the left. Drivers will need to be precise at the hairpin at turn 7 given the subsequent uphill section. Without a good exit from that corner, they'll lose a lot of time on that stretch. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Oscar Piastri. Fernando Alonso, Russell, Leclerc, Stroll, Ricardo, Verstappen, Norris, Hamilton, Sonoda, Joe, Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Bottas, Gasly, Ocon, Albon, and Logan Sargent. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. And alongside me today, a man who I'm always pleased to see join me in the commentary box, Anthony Davidson. When you look at their season so far, especially against their teammate, it's not gone well at all. I know what we've got to do before the start of today's race, but what about our driver? What do the final hours look like for them? Well, for them, you know, you've got your pre-race rituals that you go through. You see different drivers uh, that, you know, some have got their headphones on, they're listening to the music. Some drivers really absorb the energy from the crowd and they're there waving to them. Other drivers, they go within themselves. They chat to their engineers, absorbing that information, that vital information that you need to carry you through the race. And, you know, those pre-race rituals are essential to making things systematic. We do a lot of Grand Prix in a season, and the more systematic you can be, the easier you are within that environment. Okay, so, um, race strategy. Ooh. If we rely in the rain, can we okay. go soft? All right, cool. Pit um, early and go hard until it rains. I really want to pull one of these. But at least with this strategy, even if it doesn't rain, I think I'm still going to undercut everybody and I'm going to be fine to win. So I think a soft hard, especially because we're starting sixth, I think this is the way to go. Radio check. Dirk never does aggressive strategies. He's on hards. I mean, maybe he doesn't need to, but I'm the only one on soft ways. He's going hard soft. So he's... Oh. That's interesting. So we're pretty much doing the same thing, but reverse. I'm starting on the softs and going hards. He's starting on the hearts and going softs. Okay, I was distracted, so the but it's fine. Up now. Be patient. Okay. Watch for those lights. Nice start. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. Good luck, sir. If you lost my YouTube. Let's 
Okay, so I'm positioned already. This is an endurance race for me, I know, but I want to get past the skis as quickly as possible as well. We'll take the warning. They're so quick in the straight line, it's nuts. I know. Oh, balls. Update on Dirk. What position is he? He's not that far off of me, right? Okay, can this game stop fucking with me? Because that is not off track, man. What? I don't understand the track limits in Imola. <laughs> I really don't. Why are they so sensitive? It's fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Update on Dark. 11 still. God damn, he's really struggling. It's the hard tires. I mean, maybe this is the game plan. He just needs patience. Okay, let's go. Great stuff, you hit that target. Really good job. There is, 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 um, okay, okay, I think I need to pit, Russell, oh my god, what was that, was that lag, I need to pit, I need to pit ASAP, okay, here we go, boys, here we go, the start of our crazy strategy, If we undercut and they are not within our DRS, I don't think they're gonna catch us. So we, we're gonna be chilling. Hopefully it doesn't rain now. We don't want it. Oh, they're pitting. They are pitting. They yes, buddy, are pitting. We hit the target. Nice work. Alonso in the pits. He was in the in the lead. Clear. I see a cloud. Six seconds. Someone tell Dirk that he cannot finish the race in the same tire. Someone please tell him, yeah? Oh my god. My fuel. What? My fuel. So we're expecting rain in about 10 to 15 minutes. Drys definitely seem like the fastest tire at the moment. I hope it doesn't rain. I genuinely hope it doesn't rain. I really hope it doesn't rain. I need to start lifting. I'm not really getting caught. Ooh, the fuel is already red. The rain is gonna save us, I believe. gonna have the ice now but then I'll gap him. I will 100% gap him, but it's fine. And he's not using bad decision Dirk. Very bad decision. You should have been using to keep up with me. Letting me go is a very big mistake. Our fuel is actually in the mud. Nine <laughs> I don't understand him Muller. I don't understand. I, I don't understand. I do not understand. Other forecast? We're expecting the rain to hit us any time now. Any okay, time? Dry seem like the best tire for now. Okay, hear me out. If he rains, I'm not pitting. And hopefully the eye does. Then maybe we can win? Is that a crazy plan? My battery and my fuel. Oh, this race is in the mud, man. It's genuinely us against us, and we beat ourselves again. Please rain. 
Yes, it's raining. Perfect. Whew. Now let's hope the eye pits. Oh my god. I have to stay out. It's the only chance. It's the only chance I have. Oh my god. Oh my god, what's gonna happen here? The eye is not pitting. There's someone in the pits, who is that? Oh my god. 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 I need AI to pit. Please pit. Please pit. Dirk just crashed. Dirk crashed. Is Ferris? Okay, never mind. So Dirk is actually flying. He spit. Breaking points. He might finish even ahead of me. This bro, I don't even know what's gonna happen in this race, but this was hella fun. <laughs> oh my fuel! My car is gonna die! <laughs> my car! My car is gonna die! Oh my god, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead! It's dead, 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 it's dead. <laughs> hey, science P1, let's go. Oh, another one. <laughs> I think we're fine. I think it's because it's wet. Sorry. Okay, where are we gonna finish? Where are we gonna finish? P5. P5, okay. P5, despite the 9 seconds and no fuel. <laughs> what a race, man. What a... <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. That was fun, man. Bro, this is the best race I've had in this game. What the hell? Sees the checker oh, flag the and wins. Not there for me today. To come here and take victory this race as a team pure today on home soil was oh, so important. Holy shit. You can see how much it means to them. Uh, next race is going to be Monaco. That's going to be interesting. But yeah, the standings: 99 points, Paris 96, Sainz 94, and Dirk 87. So we are now leading by 12 points. Math, and we retake. Wait, yeah, we retake the lead in the Constructors' Championship. So, yeah, we could have gained a lot more points on Dirk, but, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. My car and Dirk's are pretty much the same still. I don't know if he has any upgrades coming in the next three days here. Hopefully not. Because, yeah, hopefully we're gonna have the same car into Imola. So when it comes to aerodynamics, Dirk is clear, which is very good for Monaco. If you really think about it, that's perfect for him. The chassis side of things, Dirk is actually below me because I upgraded the sh the living shit out of chassis. And oh, what am I doing here? Powertrain. Uh, let's see who's better. Powertrain. I overtook Dirk, so technically our car should be faster in a straight line. And durability. Who cares about durability? But I can show you guys durability. Where is durability? I think I am ahead. Oh, whoa. I mean, I'm not going to upgrade durability. Unless science does it, I'm not going to do anything here. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in Monaco. Was that cringe? Was that cringe?